All right, so now what we're going to look at is, is an idea of, this idea of permutations with indistinguishable objects. That is, is where part, some of the objects inside of our sets, right, are exactly the same. They're identical. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually divide them out. We're going to use that division principle because some of them, right, basically they come up, they end up with the same permutation, right? If we include one or we include the other, it doesn't really matter. It's the same permutation because they're indistinguishable. So like, for example, how many different strings can be made by reordering the letters of the word success? Now, if you notice here, we have two C's, okay, and two S's. Okay, two C's and two S's. Now, the thing is, is that if I put one S into my permutation, it's the same as putting the second S into my permutation. And even if we did both, right, okay, we can still switch them, right? And if you switch them, you're still going to have the same permutation. Same with the C's. All right, so we've got to consider how many different ways can I order? So how many ways can I order my C's and my S's, my repeats, okay? Since there are two of them, the answer is two, okay? I can actually do two of them, and so consequently, for C's, right, there are two factorial ways of, uh, of ordering them, and for the S's, there are two factorial as well, because we've also got two S's, okay? So now, if I imagine, right, I'm going to take my success, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven letters, so the permutation there will be seven factorial, so, um, divided by, and I'm going to divide out all the different ways that I can order the S's and the C's. So divided by two factorial, divided by two factorial, and that is the number of different strings. Okay? So basically, what I'm doing here is the total size of the string, right, okay, and divided by the rep repeated numbers, the, excuse me, the number of repetitions factorial, okay, something like that, right. We'll talk about it in just a second. I'll actually synopsize it into a theorem uh, in just a moment, okay. Let's do another example. So here's a question. How many strings of seven or more letters can be made with the letters from the word evergreen? So since I'm looking for seven or more letters, evergreen actually has nine letters. Okay, if you go and count them up, there are nine of them. So we want how many? Seven, eight, or nine strings. Okay. Now, well, we're going to use permutations because we're looking to just order them. And we're going to have to actually... Uh, uh, divide out all of our duplicates. So in this case, I've got four E's, okay, and two R's, and no other duplicates. For the first uh, set, for those for seven, I'm going to have nine permute seven. So not uh, P of nine seven, right? Because I'm going to pick seven letters out of the nine, right? And then I'm going to divide out the repetitions for the E's and divide out the repetitions for the R's. Uh, excuse me, for the R's, there's two of them. Then, plus, I'm going to take the permutation of 9, choose 8. Okay, 9 choose 8, now I'm only choosing 8 of them, all right? And I'm going to divide that through by 4 factorial, okay? And then plus, I'm going to just take 9 factorial, that is, is that I'm going to have all 9 of them, and I'm going to divide that through by 4 factorial, 2 factorial, okay? So what you can see here is, is that actually we might have to combine some things when we're doing counting. What I really want you to get inside of this lecture, though, is to see that in order to uh, basically eliminate all the different ways that we can uh, uh, order identical objects, you're going to divide through by the number of those identical objects factorial, right? And that is actually going to divide out all of the, uh, all of the different repetitions, okay? There we go.